Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to begin our look at measures of position. So a measure of position is a measure that tells us where a particular data value falls in the distribution compared to the data as a whole. So is a data value in the bottom half, in the top half? Is it really close to the top? Is it in the top 30%? Those types of measures are measures of position. Now there are many, many measures of position, but the three that we're going to see most frequently are called quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. So quartiles break our data into four pieces or chunks of 25%. So if you looked at your data in order, the middle number, which we also know as our median, would be our second quartile because it is right in the center. If you took the bottom half and cut it in half again, that would give you Q1. So that means that would be the value that borders the bottom 25%. The median, of course, covers 50% or the middle. If we took the top half and cut that in half, that would give us Q3 or the value that borders 75% of our data. More on quartiles in another video. Our next measure of position are deciles. These cut our data into 10% increments. So if you imagine lining up all your data, your median would be D5 or the fifth decile. And there would be one, two, three, four below it. So D1, D2, D3, and D4. That would represent 10%. 20% and so on. And above D5 or your median, you would have D6, D7, D8, D9, and then D10, if we had such a thing, would represent your top value. If you want to find the decile that pertains to a particular value, okay, so D what decile your particular value falls in, you would calculate that by taking the number of values below the data value you were interested in, divided by the total number of data values, and multiply that by 10. Our final measure of position that we're going to see very frequently are percentiles. So that chops our data into 100 even pieces or gives us 1% pieces. So if you imagine chopping your data there, you would have 100 chops. Your median would be P50 or the 50th percentile. And you would have lots and lots of chops in the second half. To find the percentile for any particular value, we can take the number of values below x divided by the total number of data values and multiply that by 100. All right, we'll see examples of these in future videos. For now, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.